I'm coming to you today from my dining room because I needed this space in order to kind of spread things out. Um, I'm going to show you some binders that I've created, totally not my idea. I'm going to give credit where credit's due, so stay tuned. You all know if you've been watching my channel for any length of time that I'm not usually the one that comes up with these ingenious, creative, and clever ideas, but I'm more of a copycat. And I love to give credit where credit's due because the people that inspire me and the ones who I choose to copy have made me happy and changed my life. So these binders I'm about to show you, all three of them come from Alejandra at Home Organizing. Home Organizing is her YouTube channel, but you can also find her website at alejandra.tv. Yes. I love her. She doesn't know who I am aside from my YouTube username and I did take her course. She offers a program to help you get organized and that's available on her website. But she did um, inspire me with these three binders based on some YouTube videos and I'll try to link those here on the video. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you right away what I've accomplished. Okay, my first binder is my favorite recipes binder. And, um, well, let me show you. There we go. I put a label on the side, favorite recipes. This is exactly identical to hers. I think it's a one and a half inch wide yellow better binder from Staples. I went to Michael's and picked up just a pretty um, page. This was 12 by 12 and I cut it down to fit inside the top and um, it's just a piece of scrapbook paper and I liked the color of it being, I looked for something kitchen themed or cook, cookware themed, baking, cupcakes, whatever and I didn't really find anything but I thought this would be just a cute pattern that I like looking at. So um, this first page is from an old recipe binder and these are some of, it's kind of an index to some of the favorites that um, I have in other cookbooks which I intend to copy and put in here. And then these are extra wide tabs and um, they will stick out beyond the sleeves that are in here. So um, Alejandra has all the supplies, I think, listed in her video, um, but I did get all of these from, um, I think these are from Staples, the extra wide, and you have to order them online because they don't sell them in the store. I made these um, uh, categories and um, just put this through my printer following the directions on the label. There's an Avery template that you can download from their website and just go ahead and make your own and run it through your printer. It tells you how to set it up. So that was pretty easy. And then um, I picked up, up some cards. I couldn't find any cutesy pre-made sort of recipe cards so I got these 4x6 cards that were different colors on the top with lines because I like to write on lines because I tend to make the slant on a page wrong unless I have lines on there. And then these are, um, I guess, four by six page protectors and two per 11, eight and a half by 11 sheet. Um, this is actually a recipe for garlic hummus from Catherine's video. She is do it on a dime. So I put that in my favorites because I really like the recipe. Um, so I also have these same top ceiling um, page protectors in 8.5 by 11 that Alejandra rep uh, mentioned on her channel and they, these are from Office Depot. So that's about it. Um, I've started gathering and collecting recipes that I know that I've cooked and I want them in my favorites binder. If I haven't considered them a favorite, they don't get put in here. So this eventually, this is my mother's, this is her handwriting and she passed away about 20 years ago. So I have this original in here which I absolutely love looking at. And um, yeah, just different recipes I've received from people or recipes that will 
fit in here. Um, and I usually like to notate who the recipe came from. So if this gets passed down, then they'll know where the recipes came from. I also watch a lot of recipes online now. I actually made this Oreo cake in one of my recipes. I think it was around Thanksgiving time. So if you want to see this recipe, it's pretty simple and it is a crowd pleaser. So that also went in my favorites. Um, here you can see I used those index cards with the yellow. So that's about it. This is my favorite recipes binder. Next is my Christmas binder. I've never had a Christmas binder and I never even thought to create one until I saw this video. I also used a Staples Better Binder in the green color and I used my label maker with the red print to write Christmas on the, t on the binder spine. I did not find any Christmas specific paper at the time that I made the binder but I thought this green one with the sparkles was pretty close and I like it and it matches. So inside I have the list from all of our kids in this side and things that I will want possibly for next year to buy ahead of time, ahead of season. Um, then I have these same dividers that Alejandra talked about because of the fact that even the extra wide tab dividers that I had on the last binder would not work for these inserts which I'm going to show you. So these are actually tabs at the top and they slide around all the way to the edge but you can see that you can't you couldn't see them if they were underneath here. So I just slid it all the way to the top and now my tabs are at the top of the binder and I will continue to add more but I really don't have much Christmas stuff to speak of. Um, here is my um, labels. These are stickers, address labels. Whoops, I guess those have my address on them. And then um, these are gift tags, which are kind of the fancier ones. I generally make my own for um, my family, just out of reused wrapping paper that I cut out. But these are really nice gift tags that I would use for friends or neighbors. And then this is a poly envelope with three ring binder holes on the side so it fits in your binder and it's velcro on the side so you can actually hold a pocket of stuff in here and it is a little bit expandable. These are holiday cards. I've had these in my office year round for a long long time and I didn't think to contain them and corral them all together because they're holiday cards. I just never thought of that. So now all of my holiday cards are separated into this holiday binder and not mixed with my other greeting cards. And then this is for holiday receipts which generally stay in here until I get the statement in the mail from that card or bank account. And that's in the event that somebody wants to return a gift that I've given them. I can easily go here instead of rummaging through a pile of receipts elsewhere. So that's all I have now for my Christmas binder. Okay, and just to show you, my next binder is not 8.5 by 11 like this one, but it's the junior version or the smaller binder. And so I'm going to move this one aside. It's about half the size of the other binders. This one is a blue binder, and I'm using this for coupons. I love this little binder. I keep it in the house at my desk where I check the mail and then I can easily put coupons just in the front cover until I'm ready to insert them into the pages. And then when I go shopping I just simply grab the binder and take it with me in the car as I go. So this is a junior size or a smaller size binder than the 8.5 by 11. It's still a better binder from Staples and it's in the turquoise color. This, my daughter asked me if I drew that, I almost laughed because she knows I can't draw at all. This is actually a piece of scrapbook paper um, that is pre-printed. So no, I didn't draw it. <laughs> it came that way and I just cut it to the size of this binder and put it in the front cover. Um, in the front, I have some, these are just kind of things that I, that don't really fit into one of my categories, but like Gone with the Wind, um, there's a Gone with the Wind Museum near where I live, and there's um, some 
a discount of three dollars off of actually this is for the Margaret Mitchell house not the Gone with the Wind Museum but there are both the Margaret Mitchell house is in Atlanta and this coupon doesn't expire until the 28th of this month so I tucked it in there to remind me that I have it now for this one I've got these Martha Stewart sleeves these are sold at Staples and these are just post-it tabs that I put on the top and also on the side and I have room to add more if I want to so for now I just have retail and you can see I've got these are full pages and Alejandra shows you how to do all this by putting cardstock paper into the sleeve so that when you're looking at the stack you don't see through the rest of the pages okay so I've got retail stuff in here you can see until we get to this which is two pages or two squares on one page these are also Mar Martha Stewart and then these are my club cards or rewards cards and these are sort of the card size four to a page so I really like this as well so these are in the very back and that way I always have my rewards cards with me when I'm shopping the next category is pink and it's my food and dining category so whenever we go out for date night or go out to eat I've always got my coupons here I know that the ones that I have are not expired because I go through this on occasion and pull out the ones that expire and uh, I'm always it's made me a better shopper now I'm not a coupon guru and you know one of those that's that goes really really crazy but I do like having my coupons and my cards in here the yellow tab is for services this is like um, movies and Williamsburg Colonial Williamsburg gift cards and things like that and then I made some extra sleeves in the back here and put them back ready to be used in the event that I add more I did find that I need more of the full-size ones like this but every time I go to Staples they're out of stock no matter and I've been to two or three Staples they're out of stock of these Martha Stewart um, tab dividers these actually have a slip on the top that covers and closes it so as you tilt your binder up this way nothing falls out of the top so I may have to just order these online the next time I do a Staples online order so anyway that's my third binder and one more thing I wanted to share with you I was at I think Target and I picked up you can see this is really not much bigger than my hand um, it's just a little journal it's called a lock and key vertical journal 160 ruled pages with a ribbon page marker and a magnetic closure so I liked the look of this cover it looks like a faux leather magnetic closure here on the side and yes there is a ribbon on the bottom so I can quickly open to the page where I last wrote and I decided to get this because I wanted to start a gratitude journal for the year 2013 now I was a little late getting going but um, I have done several pages and I don't do it every night but I leave this beside my bed and as I feel the notion to do some writing in my gratitude journal I have this handy and it really helps me to reflect and just be focused on those things for which I am grateful and that's it so that my friends is what I've been up to lately I hope that you are also inspired and watch these girls that I'm talking about anytime I do a copycat video and if you can't, can't come up with these creative ideas yourself, like me, do what they do. That's why they're doing what they do. And if you subscribe, like their videos, and support them, then they're going to keep producing more. So I'm going to keep doing what I do best, and that's copy the geniuses that are out there. I love these ladies, and they make my life better. I'm really happy with my binders and I'm sure I'm going to keep following them. I also have another project that I'm doing 
um, that Alejandra de did a recent video on, and I'll be bringing that to you next video. So, well, not next video, but upcoming video. So that's it for this one. Talk to you soon. Bye.